Hey everybody, welcome back. It's movie day. I was gonna say movie night, but it's actually day when I'm recording this. So I know it's been a while since I've watched a movie on this channel. So the last one I saw was Man of Steel. I have seen Zack Snyder's Justice League, but because of everything that I've supported with that movie, I, I would prefer people to go out and watch it. I'll do a rewatch of it and commentary like I did with Man of Steel some ways down the line, but I do um, recommend that you guys support that movie. So I apologize if you're looking forward to that, but in regards to another epic, we're hopping right back into one of my favorite directors, Christopher Nolan. We're hopping right back into a movie from him. Now, I love Christopher Nolan. Ever since the Dark Knight trilogy and even tracing back to Memento, Prestige, even Interstellar, Inception, I think Inception is probably my favorite movie from him, but I've never seen Dunkirk and I've never seen Tenet. I think those are the two movies I haven't seen that are like recent from him. If I'm missing something else, please let me know in the comments down below. But Dunkirk, I'm kind of surprised since it's only like an hour and 46 minutes long. I kind of expected it to be this big World War II epic by Christopher Nolan with great visuals and just, you know, so, uh, like a, a multi-layered um, plot. But hour 46 seems like a pretty quick watch. I know it takes place during World War II. Um, outside of that, I'm, I don't really remember who's in it. But I'm just going to watch it. I know it's probably um, a hard-hitting movie since it's most likely rated R. I'm not sure, though. Does Christopher Nolan do R-rated movies? I'm trying to think. If not, I know it's going to be a war movie, so it's probably going to, you know, be quite sad and probably going to have some frightening visuals. But we're just going to hop into this. But I will say, if you guys want to see this movie with me in its entirety, I do have a Patreon where this is available right now in its entirety. Multiple tiers to choose from. I do have other things on the, on the Patreon and on this channel as well, such as uh, reactions to Disney movies, Pixar movies. I had done reactions to TV show Dark. I'm currently doing reactions to the final season of Supernatural as well as uh, Community. So if you're interested in any of that, go take a look on Patreon. I do have a couple of things backlogged there. So if you want to see like full reactions to like things, I've done the first few episodes of The Boys, first few episodes of Ozark, did the first few episodes of ha uh, The Haunting of Bly Manor, something like that. And I've done Mandalorian season two. But yeah, all that's available on my Patreon. Check it out if you wish. If not, totally cool. You can always support me here on YouTube. Like, comment, share, and subscribe is the key here. But yeah, that being said, I'm just going to stop yapping. We're going to watch this movie and talk about it immediately afterwards. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. Don't really know what else to say or uh, expect other than a really well-made movie with some striking visuals and great acting and a, and a you know, really strong script. So here we go, guys. What? They're assuming people's identities and they're like infiltrating the opposition, right? Is that, that what I'm getting? Am I picking up what you're putting down, Nolan? Nolan builds tension so great. Yeah. Ooh. I don't even know what you would even do at this point. Do you get down or do you run? Yeah, that sucks. They're so far away. I thought they were closer than that. Ah. Ready on the stern line, George. Aren't you waiting on the Navy? Thanks for the help, George. I'm coming too. What are you doing? You do know where we're going. I'll be useful, sir. Will you? Shoots are very realistic, like we're in, like we're, like we're the pilot. Got you, fuck. Nice. 
Yeah, he's down for the count. Jesus! How's the perimeter? Shrinking every day. Right between our rear guard and the French, we're holding the line. And the enemy tanks have stopped. I feel like this is a mistake. Is that Killian Murphy? Is that Killian Murphy? I can't tell. Thought I could tell by the nose. What's your name? Yeah. But is he on our side yeah, is the question. <laughs> Cause he's not Tomorrow speaking either, so. 42, what's your fuel? 50 gallons, over. 50 gallons? My okay, case took a bit of a knock about that. Did you turn back? No, no. I'm fairly confident it's just a gauge. Jesus. Or say something in English. I'm looking for a quick way out. In case we go down. Where are we going? Dunkirk. No, we can't be going to Dunkirk. No, 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 no we're going to England. You can take your team below and warm up. Peter, we got space for man to lie down. <sighs> yeah. I think I know what's about to happen. I don't think you want those problems, says, though. He shell shocked George. He's not himself. There's always something happening in this movie. I'm like on edge. Hello? You open the door. Hello? Can you hear me? What have you done? Locked him in. Let him out, for God's sake. Hello? This is gonna be an awkward conversation. How the hell? Turned around. We have a job to do. You can either you can jump off right here. Turn it around. No, it's about to get violent. Saw this coming. Oh, someone's dying. I love the uneasy score. This is Hans Zimmer, right? I can't even imagine what it would be like to be a soldier <laughs> back in the day. But back in the day, just... Fuck. Imagine being on the front lines, just... Meat for the grinder. Did they made a, make a friend along the way? Because there was only two of them at first, right? You're alright. You're okay. Oh, fuck. That's not good. I told my dad I'm... I've done nothing that's cool. I know I would do something one day. Be getting the local paper. Maybe my teachers would see it. I can't see. Shit. Where are the destroyers? There'll be one soon. Um. One. After yesterday's losses, it's one ship on the mole at a time. Three. Pushes closer. Yeah. Small vessels, Paul. Small vessels. It's the list of civilian boats for requisition. What's their plan with this boat? It looks beached. Is it usable? Where's the crew? Right, like, best shot ourselves inside, boys. Wait for the high tide. How long is that? Maybe three hours. Hold your head out. See if the water's coming. No. Your guns ready, bro. You German. Dutch. Dutch. Did you come back? Oh, shit. Jesus. Oh, that'd be so. 
That'd be so stressful. <laughs> Just stay down. They're, they're testing it. It's like almost the exact same shot. Fuck. See? The tide. No. We have to plug it. After you, mate. Yeah, seriously, fuck you. Yeah, they know they're in there. Shit. Somebody needs to get off. Well, volunteers. This one. Have you noticed he hasn't said a word? Because I have. You don't speak English. <sighs> Somebody's got to get off so the rest of us can live. Guys are going to be fighting each other. You're taking on water. What the? It's over. It's over. What do you see? Home. Really? Oh, shit. Tears in his eyes. Yep. Home. I mean, there's still like half an hour left in this movie, so something has to go wrong, right? These guys still wrestling with the boat. It's too late, man. They're fucked. He's dead, mate. <gasps> no! So be bloody careful with him. Will you be okay? He's dead, bro. Boy. Good. This movie's something else, man. I knew it. I still don't know how he has so much fuel left, but okay. Go, 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 go. <sighs> oh my god. There we go. That's a fighter. Yes, an ME-109 from the South. Peter, you take the tiller. Listen for my instructions. What are you doing? No, no, wait. No! Nice. Well done. Well, we did it, survive. That's enough. Green pastures, but she never thought you'd see that again. We spit and that was in the streets. They're not locked up waiting for the invasion. R.I.P. George. You wanted to help and you died a hero. Can't look. <sighs> yep. Yeah. Heroes always die young. It's a scary part. And even if this island or a large part of it was subjugated and starving, then our empire beyond the seas, armed and guarded by the British fleet, would carry on the struggle until, in God's good time, the new world with all its power and might steps forth to the rescue and the liberation of the old. 
Oh, still going. <laughs> I thought it was going to be the end. Oh. Okay, so that was Dunkirk. Really good movie. However, it does feel like it, it lacks the Christopher Nolan edge to it. Like, I know it's more historical and stuff like that, but when I think Christopher Nolan movies, I'm thinking it, it delivered everything I wanted. So I'm, first and foremost, I'm going to give this movie a 10. It's a really well-made movie. I was hooked and on the edge of my seat the entire time. I really enjoyed all the characters and what they all brought to the table, especially their interactions with one another. It felt very Tarantino, um, Tarantino-ish, where the, all the storylines are kind of just kind of converging into each other at Dunkirk at the end. So I loved all of that. The music was really good. The tension was really good. The writing is very good. It's very crisp. The characters are very crisp. They, they feel, this world feels believable, real. And I love the practical effects, very little CGI, if anything. Love the, the, the set pieces, the DP, like the, the, the photography, the cinematography, everything about this. This movie looks perfect. However, this is personal gripe. It didn't feel like a Christopher Nolan movie. It felt well made. But I feel like Christopher Nolan is, is more known for more complicated plots. You know what I mean? If that makes any sense at all. But... Something a little bit more thought-provoking. Like, I get it. It's it's a his, it's a historical piece, you know, set at Dunkirk during the events of World War II. I understand that. It's just me personally. I guess I expected just a little bit more. Because it's a very straightforward movie. I enjoyed all the characters. I enjoyed how everyone kind of, like, you know, helped move the plot along. If there even is a plot, really. It's more of like a survival film. Not really even then, it was just more of like, you know, a film, a movie about an event that actually happened. So there's no real plot or story. It's just kind of like you're following these heroes, these everyday heroes, these soldiers in the line of fire up against, you know, all odds, you know, the Germans, etc., etc. And I love the human aspect to it where you had George... This is the one thing I really kind of connected with. George, the, the young lad, who was like well well dressed and like took it upon himself to jump in with with um to, to go on that rescue mission. I, I I should have called it from the start. I knew someone was gonna bite it. I first I thought it was gonna be the old man, but George biting it, it just makes sense, just because he wants to do good and you can just find heroes in everybody, and it even kind of circles back at the end when you see that newspaper clipping where it says George, I forget his last name, it's like 17 hero at Dunkirk or something like that. Like that, that, those little moments like that just kind of just tugged at my heartstrings and I feel bad for Killian Murphy's character because he's just a soldier who wanted to go home, not back and rescue things. Things got heated. He accidentally caused George to hit his head. George dies and instead of living with the guilt of being the cause of George's death, they tell him George is going to be all right for his own sanity and well-being. Really well-made movie. I mean, I would have wanted a little bit more, but like I said, it is extremely well-made, 10 out of 10. But as far as Christopher Nolan movies go, I probably would have wanted a little bit more. Not really much else to say about the movie other than I really enjoyed it. I thought the writing was really crisp. I thought the acting was really crisp and well done. Everything about it was just spectacular. Music, sound design, editing, everything about it was perfect. So yeah, that was my review and reaction. And if you enjoyed my review and reaction to Dunkirk, it is you can watch this full video in its entirety right now on my Patreon. Multiple tiers to choose from. Check it out if you wish. If not, you can show all your support here on YouTube by liking the video, subscribing if you haven't already, sharing it with your friends, and, you know, commenting. Let me know what you thought about the movie. Is Tenet just as good as this? What is your favorite Christopher Nolan movie? Where does this rank in your Christopher Nolan movies list? Let me know all that down in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys next time in the next movie reaction. If for ideas for next movie reactions, just drop it in the comments. All right, guys. Adios.